I'm here with Nick Hamilton. Nick, always good to catch up with you. How much are you enjoying your racing this year? Um, I always enjoy it, every year, um, especially this year. Um, lap times are getting a lot better. I'm getting stronger as a driver. I'd say more well-rounded as a driver. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I know you had a few frustrations on race day last time out at, at Thruxton, but qualifying was really strong, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was actually my strongest qualifying in Thruxton. Um, Thruxton's always been a, a mental challenge for me since 2011 in Clio's. Um, so I really saw some good progress at Ruxton. Uh, Sunday, yeah, wasn't the best of days, uh, but race one showed that we had good race pace in comparison to my teammates. So, you know, it's all good progress and we, you know, start moving forward throughout the end of the year. It's, it's always super important for every driver to feel comfortable in the car, to be able to get the maximum from it. You obviously need some extra technical help in that respect. You've got a new braking system on the car um, for the last couple of races, haven't yeah. you? So we've got a servo assisted pedal. Um, so basically just, boots the, the brake pressure needed so if I if I can produce 40 bar with my leg it pushes it up to 80. Um, this has sort of created a few issues in terms of locking, brake locking so uh, yeah we just got to fine tune it but so far it's, it's definitely helped, uh, made me a lot more consistent, really stopped the pain from my legs as well um, so yeah it's, it's definitely a benefit. So it's not just about braking it's about a whole body thing really then for you isn't it? Yeah it, it, I was in so much pain without it, um, you know struggling to brake for the whole race um, and losing a lot of time to the other drivers because of it. It was very inconsistent, you know, and it was affecting my ribs and my pelvis a lot and uh, almost got a little bit dangerous because I had to brake so early and sometimes couldn't really stop effectively. Um, but now that's all cleared um, and I can drive with no pain, so that's a good thing. That's going to put a smile on anybody's face. Tam, just looking ahead to Walton Park this weekend, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think of this track? Oh, I love this circuit. I'd say it's probably my favourite circuit on the calendar. Very undulating, so much characteristics. Um, for me, it's just getting as close as I can to, to my teammates, Aaron Taylor, Smith, Aaron Taylor Smith, especially, um, getting really close to him. And, you know, obviously, uh, we're, we're driving for the same team as uh, Safe Through Racing with the Azus. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an exciting time for me just to keep progressing. Um, and I'm working on Nick 2.0. So, uh, yeah, it's in progress. What's Nick 2.0 going to look like? He's going to be storming it. Um, hopefully, Nick 2.0 um, will be a faster driver for raw pace. Um, and and hopefully get to the point at some stage whether it's going to be the end of this end of the year um, or next year but um, the whole point is being in there being in the mix being in the pack and now i'm in i'm in that pack that will give me what i need which is you know top 20s to, to top 15. nick 1.0 2.0 will take you however you come mate cheers thanks <laughs>